Hello, welcome to my channel and welcome to my first video. This guide is to help you get through the early game on Will to Live Online as fast as possible. This guide is going to essentially take you through till you get your first weapon, which then makes it easier to open up the world, go explore more and get into the game. So yeah, let's get into the video. One quick thing to note before we start, as you level up and you unlock your character points, I would highly recommend saving them until level 8, where you can unlock the class skills tree. This is going to be much more useful in the later game. So after completing the obstacle course, you're going to spawn in Solar City, where it's going to tell you to speak to Mick. I'm not going to try and pronounce his full name because it's my first video and I don't want to look like an idiot. But instead of going to speak to Mick, the first thing you want to do is go over to the medical tent and speak to the doctor. You just want to go through the dialogue with the doctor and that's going to give you your quest completed. After that, you want to make your way to the north of the village to speak to Mick. So when you get to Mick, he's going to give you a pistol and some ammo. He's also going to have some more answers to other questions you may have about the game. So feel free to flick through them if you want. Then after speaking to Mick, we're going to head down the stairs and out to our left and through the next door to speak to the barman. But before we speak to the barman, we want to speak to this NPC on the table, Vulture. He's going to give us a little bit more XP quickly there. Then you want to speak to the barman and after you've gone through all the dialogue with him and accepted the quest, you want to speak to him again and buy five dirty waters off of him. And we do that simply by clicking on show me your goods, buy five of the dirty waters, then go back to Vulture and speak to him. And then he's going to give you plastic bottles and then speak to him again to complete the quest because we've already got the bottles of dirty water that we need. So then that's going to be an easy quest finished right there. Then after we've done that, we want to head to the building in the center of the city towards where the green exclamation mark is. And we want to speak to Rafik and he's going to give us our first job. And then after that, we want to run south and speak to the doctor again for another quest. And after we've taken the quest off the doctor, ideally we want to go back to Rafik and sell the FMJ bullets that we got given from Mick. And we want to buy HP rounds because they're a lot better for PvE than FMJ rounds. 100 will be plenty for this quest. And then while I'm here, I've brought storage as well just for a bit later on and also eaten the bread that the barman gave me. For this part, we're going to head up to the northeast corner of the village. And what we're going to do here is we're going to pick 10 milk mushrooms, 10 Amanitas, any CEP mushrooms that we find, or set mushrooms. I don't know how they pronounce them, but there you go. Uh, 10 chamomiles for the quest. While we're doing this, we're going to go around and kill rats and pick up everything that you get from the rats. It doesn't matter what they drop, just pick it up because it's just going to be some extra bits to sell. And also, we're going to need a couple of the bits for quests shortly. So like I said, we want to just keep picking mushrooms. And on your way around, as you make your way around, just kill the rats as you're going. And then we want eight rat skins and eight rat tails. So this should only take a couple of minutes to go around and just keep picking them. There's a lot of the mushrooms of each type in the area, so it shouldn't take too long. And it just saves us that little bit of time later on when we go back, rather than running back and forward doing each quest. We just do two or three extra ones now. If it is dark, just press L to use your flashlight. Or you can also turn up the gamma in your game, which makes it a lot easier to see at night. I prefer the realistic feel, so I like to leave the gamma as it is and just use the flashlight. Obviously, the whole point of this guide is to help you do it as efficiently as possible. So it's going to be different for each player who does it, whether you're following the guide, strictly following it to do it as quick as possible, or whether you're doing a bit more exploring while you're just following the guide. So once we get to the point where we've got all of our rat tails and all of our chamomiles, mushrooms and all that stuff, we can start heading back into the city. The rat skins don't matter too much. Um, you should get a couple of them as you go through killing the rats, but it doesn't matter if you don't have all of them. It just gives you a head start on the next part of the quest, that is all. You want to head back into the city and head back to the barman. So he's going to give you another quest for glassware. Before we go back to Rafik and the medic, we want to head to the table that's on the way to Rafik's place. And on the table on the left here, you should find a few plates and forks and spoons. You won't find all of them here, but we're just picking them up now as we will finish the quest shortly. You can also, in this sports bag, find a couple of water bottles, which are handy for later on. So we're gonna go to Rafik and finish, finish the Rat Tails quest, and then take the next quest off of him, which if you was picking up everything from the rats, you should have a couple of the rat skins already. If you don't, then we'll just go back to the rats in a minute, which I had to do as well. You don't lose loads of time by going back to the rats. It just gives you a bit of a head start on the quest, so it'll only take you about 30 seconds to do the next one. 
So after speaking to Rafik, we then go down to the medic and speak to the medic. We're going to finish that quest and then if you picked all the mushrooms, you should be able to complete the Aminitas quest as well. So that's two quests on the bounce that you can do right there and that should get you to level two. So now we're going to check the southeast corner for the rest of the glassware where there is a soldier sat at a bench. We're going to collect the rest of the cutlery from the table and we're also going to check the storage box at the bottom of the table and pick up the vodka if it is in there. If you don't quite have enough cutlery to finish the quest when you've checked the table, just go slightly north towards the exit and you'll see a trailer. Just go and look in the trailer and loot in there and you'll find the rest of the cutlery. So once we've done that, we're just going to head straight back to the barman and we're going to finish that quest and buy two bottles of vodka off him. Once we've brought the two bottles of vodka off him, we're then going to go back to the doctor and finish the compress quest. Once we've spoke to the doctor, we're then going to head to the northeast corner again to kill the last few rats to finish the vested business quest. You should already have some of the skins from the quest earlier where you collected the rat tails, as long as you was picking up all the gear. Once you have all the skins, we're going to return to Rafik. You might also want to check with the gunsmith and repair your weapon, just because as your weapon starts to deplete, the damage it does is lower, so you want to keep it repaired as often as possible. So yeah, we're then going to head towards Mick, and he's going to give us a quest for some tools. So we're then going to head to the northwest side of the village, over toward the garage. It's going to be very dark in the garage, so you probably want to use your flashlight if you haven't got your gamma turned up, so press L to use your flashlight. You're going to find the spanner on top of the barrel on the left. The shelving unit on the left is going to be where the screwdriver is, and then just to the right of that is going to be some boxes with the wrench on it. There's also a computer unit in there where you can find some steel wire which is useful to pick up. There's also some storage boxes with some odds and sods in that you can pick up as well. So we're going to head straight back to Mick and finish that quest. That's going to take us up to level 3. So then we're going to go back into the bar and we're going to speak to Lamy. This quest isn't necessary but it is. there is some good loot down there for a bit of money and it does give you some XP if you want to do it. And then we're also going to speak to the barman. You then want to speak to the barman and take the alcohol deliveries quest, which we're then going to do by going into his shop, buying the vodka back off of him, and then just giving it back to him. Nice and easy. So then we're going to go back to Rafik and we're going to take the quest off of Rafik. And also, if you've got any junk in your inventory, you may as well sell it just so you've got some more cash. So Rafik's going to give us a stray dogs quest. And then once we've spoke to Rafik, we're going to go down to the doctor, who is going to give us another quest for dog fat. Once we've done that, we're going to head out the west side of the village towards the U-shape of buildings. And in this area, you're going to find the stray dogs. Don't forget to assign your medkits to a quick slot. And also, if you need to, you can run back to the safe area. Once we've killed all the dogs and got the skins and the dog fat, we're then going to head back towards the doctor. We're going to finish that quest and then we're going to go to Rafik. So we're going to take two quests off of Rafik. I'm going to set a fire extinguisher and we're going to click on his any more work and take Rat King. Then we're going to head back to Mick. And we're going to take the anomalous zone quest just by clicking i need work we want to make sure that at this point we have the fire extinguisher and the anomalous zone quests because they're right in the same place so it's just going to be easier to do them both together like i said this guide is about being efficient and trying to do a few things at once so that the leveling up time is a lot less so we're going to head back into rafik and sell the odd couple of bits and buy some more ammo we're then going to head back to the doctor and buy a few med kits we don't need loads, just, just two or three is fine. It's just because we're going to be heading outside of Solar City. The last thing we do before we start these quests is going to be going back to the barman and buying some cider from him. And essentially the cider is going to refill our stamina when it runs low, so it's just going to give us more runtime. You can also assign this to a quick slot by right clicking on the item and assign it to quick slot, and then you can just drag it onto the number that you want to assign it to. We're then going to head out of the northwest corner of Solar City and we're going to head northwest towards a gas station. As you get to the gas station, just be careful of the dogs, but most of them you can avoid. So when you get to the gas station, all you want to do is go through the front door. Just don't get too close to the anomaly. And while you're in here, pick up the fire extinguisher. Once the circle goes green, you've then got that quest. You then want to head out towards the east and you want to run along the northern wall of the Solar City. When your stamina bar gets low, just drink a cider and that will refill the bar up. That will enable you to run a lot further without having to stop to refill your stamina bar. The only animals up here are stray dogs as well and they're low level as well. So they're easy to kill if they come towards you, but they generally don't tend to. Then as you get to the northeast corner, you're going to get towards the big white rat. 
Now, this is an easy monster to kill. It doesn't tend to do any damage. After you first hit the white rat, just hold S and keep backpedaling and just fire from the hip so you keep moving and you shouldn't take any damage. The good thing about the medkits is you can use them in a firefight and while you're shooting. So once you kill the rat, take the, take the rat skin. If the other one spawns in, you can kill that one as well, just for a bit of extra XP. So 100 XP per kill at this low level, that's going to help you. When you've done that, just head south towards the entrance, go into Solar City. Then we're going to head to Rafik to complete two of the quests. And then he's going to give us another quest called Postman. And also, if you've got any other bits to sell, do that as well while you're here. All them little bits, they don't give you much money, but while you're there, you may as well pick them up and just sell them for the few coins that you get, just so you've got some more money for ammo. So then after Rafik, we're going to head towards Mick and we're going to complete the postman and complete the anomaly. And he's going to give us another quest for the watchers. So we're then going to head to Rafik and we're going to sell that pistol and the ammo because we don't need it. We're just going to continue to use the pistol that we have at the minute. Put anything we don't need in storage. We want to make sure we've got the pistol with plenty of ammo and we want to make sure that we've got a few med kits. And once we've got the ammo and a few med kits and just to make sure that we're ready for a fight, we're going to exit the southwest side of the sea and then we're going to carry on heading southwest towards the MTE. You'll find it on your map. So as you go towards the MTE, on the road you'll see a truck. In the back of the truck you want to loot the storage crate that's in there. Just take everything that's in there for now because obviously anything we don't need we can sell. We're then going to head into the MTE. So the first thing you want to do is head to the right and you're going to see the building here. So we're also going to get a quest to explore the MTE. So just make sure you sort of have a good run around here. The first storage box is in the skip. Again we're going to take most of it because we can sell it if we don't need it for a quest. There's a storage box up in this concrete pillar here. We're not going to bother taking the pistol ammo because we don't need the FMJ rounds. So yeah we're going to just have a walk around and uh, there's another crate in here just be careful of the green cobweb because that will or the green moss sorry because that will do a lot of damage to you so we just want to make our way through this building get in all the storage crates and we want to loot the boxes for the ferrous metal the rubber the sulfur and the pipe and while we're going around we also want to kill a few of the watchers to get the claws which should be quite easy because as you go around they should be following you anyway when you're shooting at the watchers you want to make sure you aim low and not at the shells because the bullets in the makarov aren't very good for armor piercing and if you shoot lower you'll do a lot more damage when you hear the clicking noise that's when you hear a watcher behind you so what you want to be doing is as soon as you hear the clicking noise you want to turn around and look because that will make them stop and go into camouflage and you can tell where the watchers are in camouflage because you'll see a sort of little blur on the floor behind you but as I say, on this first bit, you just want to run around and loot the building. And I'm obviously now going to be showing you where all the storage boxes are. You just want to loot as much of them bits as possible because, like I say, anything we don't need for a quest will be sold. Also, a good way to deal with the watchers is if you hear a few different clicks so you know there's a few of them behind you, it's a good plan to turn around and walk backwards because if you walk backwards, they don't move while you're looking at them. But as I said, just make sure you aim low, sort of at the faces and the claw area, and you, they should be one to two bullet kills, depending on what size they are. And also, you do want to sort of try and make sure you run into all the corners of this building and try and navigate most of the area because we want to get the Explore the MTE quest up as high as possible, which we will be finishing off when we return. The main goal of this first journey here is just to loot as many of these boxes as we can in this area and also cover as much of this area as we can. So by the time you finish exploring this whole area, you should have about 20 to 25% on the MTE quest that you can see in the top left. So once we've got the claws, we want to head back towards Solar City. And then when we're back in Solar City, we just want to go to our storage. And then when we're at the storage, we just want to bank all the parts. So the rubber, the sulfur, the ferrous metal and the pipes we want to bank all of that to save it for the next quest that's coming up then we're going to head to mick and we're going to complete the quest we're then going to head around to the barman and we're going to take two quests off of him which should be the stashes and anomalies and the firewood and then we're going to go back to rafik and take another quest off him which should be search for metals and then we're going to take the quest off the gunsmith for the spare parts if you looted all them boxes you should have most of the parts you need don't remove the stuff from your bank straight away because they'll take up room in your inventory. So just check to see if you have all of the stuff. If you have all of the stuff, turn the quest in. If you don't have all of the stuff, leave it in your bank because we will be going back to the MTE to complete the other three quests. So we're going to head back towards the MTE. When we get in the MTE, we're going to go the same way we went before into the right. We're going to get the rest of the spare parts we need from the boxes. 
or get as many as we can depending on if they've been looted or not. Once we've got the rest of the parts we need, we're going to head out the south door of the building. So what we want to do is just make sure that we try and run around in all the open areas, try and go into all the buildings and just work our way around the map. I'm going to put a map on the screen with a pathway that I think you should take. And essentially what you want to do is just make sure that you sort of go around all the corners, go around all the edges, just essentially try and explore as much of the area as you can. So as you can see, I have sped up the footage so that you can see the route I'm taking. Essentially just trying to check as many corners as you can. You want to make sure you go in between all the hangers and through every hanger, at which point you're going to run into the anomaly, which you have to inspect for the stashes and anomalies quest. So do that and then continue making your way through all the hangers and around the edge of all the hangers. Obviously, as you get towards the south side of the MTE, the watchers do get bigger and harder to kill. So just remember to keep looking back on yourself. Try and walk backwards where you can and obviously sprint where you can as well. Obviously, try not to run out of stamina because that will cause you some issues. And also be mindful that there is a safe area at the north and south sides of the MTE so you can use them as well. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to complete the three quests at once, which is the stashes and anomalies, the firewood quest and the exploration of the mte the exploration of the mte is going to give us a nice xp reward which is going to bump us from level four where we are now almost up to level six and by the time we then turn in the other quest we will be level six as you're exploring around when you get around towards the east side wall you want to be looking for the firewoods which you'll see on the floor scattered about along that east side from south to north so once you've completely explored the mte and got the firewood got all the parts and looked at the anomaly we're then going to head out from the mte back towards solar city and we're going to turn these quests in once we get into solar city we're going to head straight to rafik and then we're going to complete that quest and that's going to put us at level six then we're going to speak to rafik again and take the ancient key and the rare electronics quest after you talk to rafik Go to your storage and then complete the gunsmith quest. We're then going to run over to Mick and complete the stashes and anomalies quest. And we're also going to take the lab carcasses quest. We're then going to go around to the barman and complete the firewood quest. And we're going to take the search for rat. And then we're going to run back round to Mick. And then we're going to take the foreign native quest. We're then going to go back to Rafik and we're going to go on goods and we're going to go to the commission and we're going to look for boar biomaterial and we're just going to buy that because it's fairly cheap and it's a lot easier than going out to get it. Once you've brought the boar biomaterial, we're just going to head back to Mick and we're then going to complete the lab carcasses quest. So we're then going to go to our storage and or the barman and get some cider because we're going to be doing a bit of running for this next bit. And we're going to be exiting the city in the northwest corner and we're going to be heading up towards the railway station. So there is an NPC at the southwest side of the railway station who we want to avoid at this level. He is killable. He's not too bad, but it's just easier to avoid that fight. So we're going to enter the city on the southeast side and we're going to head directly north and then head anti-clockwise around the edge of the city until we find the house or the little hut with the key in. So just be careful of the dogs and you want to check inside the set of drawers in this building and you'll find the ancient key. We then want to exit back round the way we came out of the railway station. And then once we get out of the railway station, we want to head directly south towards grid B31. So in grid B31, you'll find an anomaly teleporter and you can find these because they look slightly pixelated on the horizon. And as you get closer, you'll see that it's a very pixely picture. So all you want to do is walk straight into that and that's going to teleport us down towards the engineering settlement. Also, it's worth putting a marker on your map for the teleporter so you know where it is for next time. So after we teleport, we're going to be heading straight towards west, towards the southeast side of the engineering settlement. So you're going to find this hangar when you get towards the engineering settlement. You want to go in towards the hangars and in the far west corner, you're going to find a van. You want to go into the back of the van and there's a storage box and that will be where you'll find the rare electronic component. You then want to head further into the engineering settlement. So if you come out and around and you'll find this first house in front of you, you wanna go through the gate and then walk around the back of the container. And as you get around the back, you're gonna see a corpse. Next to the corpse has a notebook. You're gonna take the notebook and that's them two quests ready to be completed. So once we've got the notebook, we're gonna head straight out of that gate again and we're gonna head directly to the north. Just be careful of all the stray dogs and the rats, but you should be fine at this level with the pistol. You should be able to kill them very easily and you should have some med kits on you by now. At this point, usually we're going to turn these quests in and do one or two more quests. So it is the Watcher Shells quest and the 
the uh, Lost Pistol quest. But as I was heading north, I ran into an event and I would highly recommend doing these as they give good XP and good loot. So I head back to the city to Rafik to finish the rare electronics and also the ancient key. So we're then gonna head over to the barman to complete the quest. And then we're gonna head round to Mick where we're gonna just skip through the dialogue and we're gonna get that quest as well. So from here, you can either do the lost handgun quest, which is very easy, which is just head out of the Southeast entrance, head towards the cemetery, just go outside behind the house to where the graves are and you'll see the gun sat on the grave. And then you can also go back into the MTE and kill watchers to get the shells, which again, now you've been in there, should only take you about 10, 15 minutes to do. And that will get you up to level seven. In this case, I wanted to do the event because the event is a lot of XP and gives good rewards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna craft a coal filter, which is the small antidote, which you can buy off the doctor a small chemical antidote which you can also buy off the doctor a couple of bandages you can buy off the doctor you need a bottle of distilled water which you can buy from the barman and then you need charcoal which you can get from you making a campfire so if you want to make a campfire you can buy matches from the barman and then you can get firewood from the mte or anywhere in the map any open area will have uh, firewood laying about and then you light the fire put all the wood on it and then as it burns down you'll get charcoal from the fire so you need free charcoal and you also need one plastic bottle that's empty so you can just buy a bottle of water from the barman and drink it and then you want to head back to the event area and craft the coal filter and then you go to the well and fill up the bottle of water the empty bottle of water you have at the well and that will give you 2000 xp so at that point that is how i got to level seven in the end rather than doing the other two quests just because it was a little bit quicker and the items are very cheap and it's very easy to do but equally the other two quests will also get you up to level seven and they do only take about 10 minutes for to do both of them there we go so that's my guide for getting from level one to seven that is most of the early game done and most of the boring stuff out the way the game only gets better from here on out there's a lot better monsters to kill. Now you've got a decent weapon, you will actually be able to go out, do a bit more exploring, explore more areas, do more things. And also at level seven, you can get better armor as well. So it's just a win-win situation and the game does only get better from here. I hope this guide was helpful. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything, if you think there's any other better ways of doing this from one to seven. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you later.